Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to bring you along with me to the Polynesian Cultural Center in Oahu. I want to preface by saying that this place is amazing. I truly enjoyed this outing. It was my favorite part of my trip. If you enjoy learning about history and culture, you will most likely love it here. Hawaii is not just a pretty vacation destination with breathtaking views and beautiful beaches. It's a lot more than that. Hawaii is about its people and its culture and its history. I purchased my tickets on the website a few weeks in advance. There was a 10% discount for booking 10 days ahead. I went with the Ali Luau package and also added in the transportation. I stayed in a hotel in Waikiki. The bus picked me up at a pickup location not too far from where I was staying at around 10 a.m. The drive there was about an hour long. And once we arrived, we got some shaved ice and explored the market area. of little shops and food stands to explore we got there pretty early so it was nice to explore the area without so much people once we were done with that we went to this building the employees told us to follow the red carpets they validated our tickets and we met with our guide for the day I was with a party of eight and we were grouped with another party of four. The tour was from 12.45 to 5. It takes a total of 16 hours to see everything in all six islands. Now I know why they say that it is impossible to see and do everything in one day. And this is why you get three free day passes to return. We unfortunately did not return because we had other stuff planned out. Now, family, do you guys have any questions for me? All right, keep it that way.
After the guided tour, we went to our Ali Luau dinner where we were greeted with a lei. Oh, hello there, hello. stud. And they also gave us each a pineapple smoothie and a pineapple. During most of our time there, there was a lot of performances. Here in Hawaii, we do things underground. Other Polynesian cultures, they often do things above ground. But in Hawaii, the fire and the rocks that heat the pig lie below the ground. So you'll see that they're first taking off the burlap. Before the burlap can go onto the emu, it needs to be soaked in water so that it doesn't burn. It helps to maintain and keep all of the moisture in so that your pig does not dry out and of course so that there's no fire. Underneath the burlap, you can see that we use foil. Foil, not traditional, but definitely useful, right? Underneath that, you'll see the leaves. Banana leaves are great for maintaining moisture and they also add a lot of nice flavor to your pig. So we added the banana leaves as well. And of course, there is our pua'a. Everybody say pua'a. Pua'a. Pua'a is the Hawaiian word for pig. So tonight you're going to be having imu pua'a or imu pig. Underneath that pua'a, you'll see a bed of rocks, which is what it was cooking on. The bed of rocks is, is heated by a fire that goes below that. Now, for those of you who are interested in giving this imu pua'a a try, we will have a carving station that will be carving and cutting up this pig for you to go ahead and ho'a'o or try. We want to encourage you to definitely give it a try. Now, it will have a nice smoky taste to it because that's pretty much what happened, right? It was smoked throughout the day. Generally, about 12 to 18 hours is how long it takes to cook a pig, depending on the size of the pig and the emu. So it's been a long day for this piggy. If you guys are interested in trying it, I would suggest you try the piece with the skin because it's really nice and crispy. All right, we can head back over. Our queen is attended by a kahu, an attendant, and a kalai moku, a royal advisor. We present to you Hawaii's last ruling monarch and only sovereign queen, Her Majesty from the Royal House of Kala Kawa, Lydia Lili'u Loloku Vevehi Valania Kamaka'eha, Queen Lili'u Okalani.
After the luau, we went to the auditorium where we put our phones away and saw the amazing Hot Breath of Life show. We obviously had to put our phones away for this part and I don't have any footage of that, but it was so amazing. Definitely recommend checking this place out, checking the show out, doing the whole thing. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. All in all, I had so much fun here at the Polynesian Cultural Center. I was sad that we couldn't get to it all. We only got to visit four island villages. I also heard that they have ukulele lessons and Rory really wanted to do that, but maybe next time we'll be able to. I have another video about our trip to Hawaii linked below. It was our first trip with our baby. He is five months old. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and go over to our channel or check the links down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.